You have been working on bar graphs and picture graphs and scaling bar graphs, and today you're going to show what you've learned so far in our unit. This task is called Lori's Puzzles. Lori has four puzzles with a different picture on each, a truck, a ball, a pond, and a cat. This pictograph shows the number of pieces in each of Lori's puzzles. Answer these questions about her puzzles. Here's the pictograph here. Here's how many pieces the truck has, the ball has, the pond, and the cat. Here's the scale. One picture or one puzzle piece represents 10 pieces. So when you use that scale, you can see how many total the truck has, the ball, the pond, and the cat. You're going to fill in this table with the number of pieces. So look at the truck, look at the puzzle pieces, look at the scale, and then write in how many puzzle pieces there are. How many more pieces are in the cat puzzle than the ball puzzle? Explain how you figured this out. So you're going to look at the cat again up here and the ball. You can also just look straight to this table. How many fewer pieces are in the pond puzzle than the truck puzzle? Now you take all that information and you're going to draw the bar graph. The bar graph is already scaled for you, so you do not need to do this part. Just go ahead and create a bar for how many pieces are in each puzzle. Next, write a question about this graph, a mathematical question, like how many pieces are there all together? Finally, answer your question and explain how you figured it out. Remember, it's really important that this question is a mathematical question. That means it involves math to solve it, and usually numbers. Good luck with this task today.